All right, so what's going on, guys? <clears throat> now I'm going to be showing you how to make your game's frame frame order to be more higher. So let's say I had the problem. Let's have the Lenovo IdeaPad Y500. I got the NVIDIA uh, GT, um, GT750M, and I got the laptop, uh, played Minecraft, downloaded Battlefield 3, and I was running between 31 and 32 a lock at that frame rate on Minecraft. In the Battlefield, it was basically the same. It was 31 and 32, and it went down to 29. So what I did is that... I went to the NVIDIA control panel and then I switched some uh, things up and I customized them. So I'm going to do a little tutorial on uh, how to do that. If you guys can't see, uh, I'm just going to tell you guys throughout. So it's just going to show you a visual of it. So you're going to go to NVIDIA control panel, as you guys all know. And that's where the customization begins. So I don't know why it's not opening up here. Oh, there we go. All right. So wait till this boots up. And then I wasn't skeptical. I was skeptical of the uh, video, um, the video GT 750M because it's a new graphic card and there was not that much reviews on it. So I was kind of skeptical of it. Anyways, so what you want to do is you want to go to manage 3D settings over here. If you guys can see that, I can't zoom in any further. And that's where you want to go. And next is then you're gonna go look down and you're gonna go to. Uh, maximum pre-render frames and you're going you're going to want to put use 3d application setting and once you do that it will turn some of the uh, these on and off for example if I put uh, multiple display mix GPU acceleration you put it to multiple display for sorry performance mode and if yours already if yours is already like that then keep it if it's already at multiple display performance mode you can keep it like that this is all uh, automatically adaptive and then I think once that does it, you can turn this on. So you want to put the texturing filtering, te texture filtering on the anis. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anisotropic sample option, and you want that on. And then you're gonna to want to go to texture filtering negative L L O D bias, and you want to allow that. And then when you go to texture filtering, you go to qual, and it's gonna be uh, dash quality. And then you want to put high performance, not high quality, high performance, because this changes up everything this is the this is the main thing that's going on here and anyways texture filtering will be on uh, trilinear optimization and threaded optimization will be auto triple buffering will be off and use the 3d application setting on the vertical sync will be uh, vertical sync will be use the 3d application setting so what you want to do is that uh, after that you're just gonna go check here see battlefield 3 it says all of the highlighted in black I want to see if you guys can see that a little better you know you can't but if you guys see that highlighted in black right here, this is going to say use 3D application setting, setting, it's going to be highlighted, and then, sorry, let me just focus this, and then on text, texture filtering, anisotropic sample option will be on, that'll be highlighted in black, texture filtering, negative LOD bias, allow on, sorry, allow, that'll be in black, texture filtering, quality, high performance, and that will also be highlighted in black. Texture filtering, uh, trilinear optimization will be on and I'll be highlighted in black too. So we're going to do is press apply and there you go, you have it. And if you guys can see what the apply was, it was in the uh, bottom right corner. It was going to be right here. So just let you guys know. And if, if you guys uh, can't, oh, give me a second. And if you go to Minecraft, it'll be the same thing. Highlighted in black. You guys can see those. And then now, what you want? Now you're gonna. What you're gonna want to do is you, you can leave that. You go to uh, uh, Minecraft at the bottom over here. And you guys see this is my background. This is my keyboard. I actually took a picture of this with my uh, T thread that I'm using right now. A really nice, really nice camera. Uh, sorry guys, give me a second for this. Um, okay. All right. Sorry. Okay, so it's gonna be loading up, and then I'm using the uh, paper cutout texture pack. As you guys can see, so I'm not joking, guys. This actually works. I did not look at anything on the internet. I just fooled around with uh, the Nvidia control panel because I was really pissed off that my Minecraft couldn't work because I knew this could have worked in one of the higher frames but since we're Battlefield 3 if you put yours on low quality 
it will be running over 40 frames because if you put it in low quality and go to the video control panel and you put it in uh, uh, high performance it basically tricks battlefield and it's actually in high performance but if you put it in low in battlefield it's still going to be on high performance but I so I fooled around with this and it's if I press single player whatever you guys want to do multiplayer whatever whatever play selected world I just did those like that and I did since see at first I was getting 30 in this in this game and now I'm I think I'm running okay if we could put the frame rate up 90 sorry 88 went to 72 it's gonna be hovering and it's gonna be a little bit uh, hovering around there but it it reached mine the highest I went today was 242 for a little bit see we just hit a hundred frames and you guys Sorry, you, if you guys missed that, we hit a uh, hundred frames, and now we're just gonna be in the 90 mark area. So we did there 100, 105, and then just randomly dropped 89. So I used to have 31, and now once you fix that, it goes up. It shoots the frame up by 30 or 40. And once I said I, my highest on this was 242. So this is it. It's pretty good. You guys see we just hit 123 frames. But if you guys want me to do uh, more videos, well, I don't know to say more videos on what though, but more maybe more videos on different games because I like, just got this laptop, so all I have now is just Minecraft and Battlefield 3. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put in the description for my other video, or I'll get to you guys somehow during this video for my Battlefield 3 one. So that will be up basically at the same time as this. So. If you guys need any questions or anything, uh, just uh, message me on my my YouTube channel, and I'll uh, uh, message you guys back. And I'm very uh, active with it. So if you guys need any help, just remember to do that. And we just fixed our Minecraft and basically every other game, and we are at a 95 frames. We just went up to 102. All right. So, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video, and we will be back.